Hello everybody, welcome back to the Contest Realm Podcast episode 79. You're probably wondering where, where we've been. Uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, life takes its toll and uh, things happen in life that you've got to deal with. Work, life and, and other things. And a bing bong at the door that I can hear on my peripheral hearing because we got Amazon parcels and M's now going to be frantically running between the front and the back of the house delivering of our food order and as well answering the door from Amazon. Uh, by that I mean welcome to the co- the Contest Run Podcast episode 79. Uh, Dan, hello. Hey Rich. Not, not the normal have... intro. But... No, but you know it's it's been a crazy few weeks and, and we've been trying to find <laughs> windows to record around these holidays and then it seems like we would find a window and then we were like oh, there's going to be some news that's going to come out, but we can't talk about it yet, so the podcast will be out of date by the time we release it. Mm. And we just we couldn't make it all uh, work, but uh, we're back. I've got my, my 6 a.m. voice Woo! Uh, for those of you who appreciate that. Uh, <laughs> People do. It is early here on the east coast of, of the United States. Uh, but, yeah, and uh, and this morning uh, we wake up uh, to uh, – well, I went to, to sleep uh, knowing this, but you woke up to it. That uh, Alliance War season thirty ending early due to uh, well, did you see the uh, Kabam has the high ground meme? Uh, no, no, I didn't. I've with, seen with a Obi-Wan. few. One, it's over summoners. We have the high ground. Oh yeah, no, no, and I know, I know what you're talking about now because I, I just, funnily enough, whilst we've been re- whilst we're recording, I'm just about to post the MCC news show for Friday, and I was looking through it and I saw it and I kind of glanced over it because I was like, oh, I just need to kind of get to what Kabam Mike's saying about it uh right. but yeah it was kind of like uh oh um i uh, but yeah that's that was that's quality meme i'm i feel sad i missed it now yes high quality memes we we are here for the high quality memes so uh this didn't affect my alliance because we're we're too far down that we, we would never get uh the uh defense tactics did it affect you guys i, 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 don't, I don't touch alliance you don't all season <laughs> No, I, I, I think the la- the the lads and ladies that do do alliance uh, alliance wars like what we I'm just going to bring the season up now because I since uh when is it twen season twenty something I I just quit I, I just can't I can't stand okay. alliance wars yeah it's, no I I understand yeah reasons like so, this uh, is just... it it sounds like the defense tactic spawned everywhere even though it wasn't supposed to and it it wasn't you didn't know until you got into the fight yeah which is uh ridiculous Mm. of course um so they they first they just canceled the war and then everyone's like well but the war is still happening so if we lose we go down in rating and then that affects everyone who um you know is on the cusp of different tiers and the tiers affect the multipliers for your Mm. points and so then it's like well the season points don't count, but if it affects our multiplier, we feel like we have to keep playing. Mm-hmm. So then they just ended up saying, "All right, yeah, we're not going to be able to roll back the war rating, so we're just gonna we're just gonna stop here, guys, uh, and and call it a day on the Alliance War Season Thirty. So yeah, uh, I'm sure it'll take a little while to get the uh, rewards out. Um, uh, so obviously, stay in your alliance until you get the rewards. Yeah, uh, but there is one one silver lining oh yeah uh, of this and that is the gifting event <laughs> because um with this uh cancellation of the the end of the war season and the end of aq uh today we're, we're recording this on friday and, and aq is uh is going to be uh ending today the the cycle if they can get the season rewards out before mm-hmm. the next AQ cycle starts, you can get in a new alliance for gifting and not miss AQ and be eligible for day one of gifting. Yes, so, that is incredibly and, and good news. That That's nice. And I know you got a million questions about gifting this week. So I think we should get into that because uh, that seems to be all anybody cares about right now is uh, is how spicy gifting is going to be in 2021. This is going to be something that, I feel Kabam are, are creating a good poker face when it comes to information. Last year, when we got the info for the December, Joy of, Joy of the Ham, I think it was, wasn't it? Something like that? Joy of Ham? Yeah, it yeah. was uh, Yeah, it was Spider-Ham, was the, yeah. was the champ, so that sounds right. So when we got the, I think it was like, I'll assume 1st of December, we got the full breakdown of the Alliance gifting rank, solo rank, 
milestones and no we didn't get what was in the greater gifting crystal or the gifting crystals information wise but we got four out of the five or well, three out of the four things that we need information wise and i kind of feel that like kabam are playing very much like oh are we gonna give that info to, out to players early the last time i think it was i questioned something before we had the side event notes go live to everybody was uh the question was what was happening with that and they were still tweaking some bits when it comes to rewards but the kind of point to it was it was coming in line with what was seen last time but again i don't really it's not really my place to speculate on that because you know trusting cabal on stuff we got instead got a, a surprise a set of objectives and we got a sinister yep. six uh solo event not knocking it i'm just saying like that was something i asked kabam whether or not there's any extras to december and i didn't get any resp and i didn't there was nothing about oh these two other things are coming in so i, I kind of what i think they're playing either very close to their chest the their cards before they're dealt um but yeah uh there's just there's so many things i, d I don't know where to start but i think it's going to be a case 20th of december around that time we'll get more information and uh we, we can start breaking this down more in our podcasts because yeah it's going to be it's going to be fun i expect daily uh daily forum threads about, yes uh, about gifting uh the the rewards and and uh i think people are particularly interested in the content uh contents of the crystals themselves of course and whether yeah. or not they they do anything like you know the um I think I, I speculated on this a while ago, but, you know, does, uh, you know, they said Scarlet Witch Sigil will only be available through the um, through the store uh, for the, the, the Sigil store for mm. like the first six months. Well, the six months is, is up, I think, next week. Yeah. Uh, so does, you know, does she make an appearance in gifting? Uh, that could be kind of cool for people. Um, you know, we'll, we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, but it seems like... Um, Oh People yeah, you did, the gift this year. Didn't you speculate on that? You you, you yeah. said you you kind of like you predicted that. So that's the thing. We're still waiting to see if that could be an actual thing. Yeah, we're, we'll see. We'll see if I made a a, a big time call or not. <laughs> Man, that that would but, be uh, nice. Be now, nice. Um, I, the, you know, the big conclusive news about gifting, and, and this was something that there was a lot of back and forth about, was this whole thing with the alt accounts that came out of. Um, you know Brian Grant's uh, video on new accounts after the Act uh, one through three restructuring and and how it's streamlined and and how easy it is to get uh, all those units. What what do you feel about um, you know where we ended up there with the the restrictions of you had to complete Act four, you have to be um, level forty, and your account has to be created. I think it's before November twentieth. Mm. This. So what, what do you think about that whole thing? Uh, I was, I was fine with it only because of how it factored into the timelines of things. So I think I chose to do coverage about a week after because I just wanted to kind of let it like just sit. The biggest problem yep. with some of this stuff is like, it, we're our own worst enemy with hyping a particular situation to the point it reveals itself to kabam like if you go okay right. go if you go here this this is like oh you get loads of revives by doing this and it's like the more you expose about it yes in some ways it may be seen as uh with bunny ears exploitative but then what we do is we put it on a bigger platform you put it on a bigger platform it then gets to kabam kabam then have to make a uh kind of a coverage of this but I think the timelines, how it broke down, was the video was posted on the 15th of November. The implications of when this was a thing was like 20th of, 20th of November. So if there is, and I haven't, I haven't checked if there's, at least to say that once players saw the video, they had five days to create said account. And then, you know, now is a the point they have between the uh, several days, not several days, but they have time now that they've got to start creating that account to level 40 so, and also doing Act 4, which is not too ridiculously bad with the current changes. If it was under the older scheme, you'd probably go like, oh, well, this is a bit of a drag and it's annoying. But there's... I, I, th I want to say that it's it's okay. I can see players' frustrations if they maybe created an account 
uh, I don't know, past the 20th of November. Yeah, okay, sure. I get you. I get you. I, I would be frustrated as, as well. I mean, I did, I created an account myself, which was the uh, alt free-to-play account called uh, Paul the Boy, which I will be returning back to next week. <laughs> um, that was a request by someone in my Discord. So, like, I do take I, my... Oh, uh, man, that, that's a good one. I like that. Yeah, I, I do take my request from my Discord very seriously. But one of the big As things, you should. Yeah. yeah. One of my one of the big requests is to go back and do old guides. Now I can't really do new player guides without going back and doing, like, and I've never made an old account. That's the thing. This right. this particular account actually exists, but I didn't. The thing is, I need to find out the, um, uh, what's the word? The the restrictions to it because I technically created this account, but it's mm. not technic. It create I created it back a long time ago, but the. The naming sequence and going through the point of actually doing any content, I didn't actually start until uh, when was it? So the account based on the email setup, right? That that was oh, done yeah. like several you, years you didn't ago. Play far enough to to name the account exactly, originally. but but yeah. that's that's the thing. I need to. I might actually be able to with that account still qualify for for gifting, depending hmm. if. I get it to level 40. So that's going to be the... Um, uh, that's, I'm going to make, maybe to make that a narrative of some kind of story uh, with this, like, um, uh, like I don't know, Kabam, you thought you, you, you've you got the best of me. You thought you could yep. do damage poor the boy. Turns out he no. actually can qualify for <laughs> for gifting. But, I, I, you know, I might, I might do that, but I need to speak to actually to Kabam and say, look, just so you know, the account for this particular account was set up prior because i can't remember what the account was going to be called but it's it was set up ages ago is it still does it still qualify or is it because i haven't set up my name for the account that that's the point because i set up poor it is called poor the boy mm. about um a week ago the 23rd of um of of november so i need to find out that extent because yeah, it, it could be a case it still hangs in a balance. It's not a definitive no, but it's not a definitive right. yes. So yeah, you found the loophole, Rich. You always I... find the loopholes. <laughs> what am I like? You yeah. Um you know, it it's been interesting kind of the conversation around this because I think there was you know, some people say, Oh, you should take the units out so people can't exploit it, but that hurts the new players. It, um, yeah. And with that as well, you're creating the lunar event because that's the lunar event if you take out the units you're just dealing with it being a uh, the lunar event or the lunar gifting or the tickets gifting yeah yeah um but um i mean like um i mean the units uh so i meant the units for oh. like act one to three. Oh, that yeah sorry because people were saying like oh people you know people are exploiting to get these units mm. uh but it's like but the new players need those units so it's, it's kind of weird because it's like you've got the like the intended audience of the new players who needs those for hopefully masteries, but they're probably yeah. going to use them on premium hero crystals. <laughs> yeah, that's true. They won't know any better. <laughs> yeah. You know, like I've, I've heard some people say like they should like just put the equivalent amount of mastery cores in there and mm. take out the units because that's what you should be spending on anyway. And there might be some merit to, to looking at something uh, like that. But, um, you know, as, as always, like you, you know, like you said, like we, we, the community can be a little bit about a little bit of our our own worst enemy in situations like this, where it's yeah. like, okay, like if this isn't intended, but it's there, like there's gonna be a re there's gonna be a response. Yeah, here, you know, like I mean, I personally like I don't think it's worth the time, like mm. you know, creating like all these different gifting accounts, but yeah. someone might so. <laughs> I, I can imagine people have done that. I can also imagine that that has been part of some element of, of, of something that's been done in the past for gifting events. Like who's who's not to say that some of the and I, you know I'm going to call it an alliance that's no longer a quite prevalent alliance, a very suspicious alliance that's no longer with uh, us. What I agree, like maybe the old older mmm mmx or whatever it's alliance because there was oh, a we're lot getting of... in the wayback machine yeah that's that alliance there's a lot of things going on with that alliance but then it's like who to say who's to say that back then that people hadn't thought about this loophole and gone oh what yeah by the way you can create a load of alt accounts grind a load of early on units or have like them just collecting from the calendar on a, on like a like a monthly basis, I think oh, what was the total like a hundred units, hundred units per calendar. So if you logged in every day in your calendar up until a certain mm -hmm. point, 
and scoop that up, you're still getting 1,200 units. You get 1,200 units, you times it by 10 accounts, then you know, you're know you coming into some, some good figures of gifting a main account with that. And all you need to do is yeah. just like log into those accounts once a day. It's very laborious to remember to do that, but um, I'm not going to say it d doesn't happen, yeah, some, but it could happen. Some people do it and... Um... You know, so I think that's that's good uh, that, uh, you know, that they're, you know, I guess, you know, putting in some restrictions, making it so you actually have to, like, play the accounts. Yeah. I think the other the other place where that's kind of nice is with um, hurting the arena bots yeah. more is because, um, you know, it used to be in in the old days, Richard. Oh, uh, yes. You know, arena bots uh, were selling you resources for your your AQ. Um, not you personally, but you know, they were yeah. selling the resources so you could, uh, you know, you didn't have to donate for AQ yourself, right? Hmm. Uh, now the only reason to be an arena bot is for gifting. Yeah. Is to get to get battle chips, which you can turn into units, and then you can sell those units in the form of gifted items right yes so, you know all year so but you know if you the, the uh you know if you can ban those accounts before gifting starts you're good but now you know that that date kind of takes like the latest pool of of arena bots that might have been you know created now like they can't do anything with those units which is which is good yeah it, it i i i think somebody Somebody messaged me on the forums. They kind of like, uh, I don't know, wanted my take on the situation of, of making the, uh, a lot, like the reason. Sorry, I, I did jump the gun earlier about uh, that was about the lunar event. Uh, somebody <laughs> messaged me on the on the forum and said, um, uh, "Oh, I've got this idea for for a gifting event. They should make it so that it's more of like a, a, a ticketed based system." And I said, the, "The biggest problem with that is you're basically pitching to Kabam." the lunar event and it's like well right. the reason that the gifting event is different is because it's you know when they put first put it in i can imagine going like hey this is a great idea and you know back in 2015 16 when this kind of event kind of started coming in it i, I you know it was it was it's, it's totally fun and you know it's evolved but the problem is with with anything evolving people will look for loopholes around stuff they'll look to kind of like um you know not ex well yes exploit the system um as it is fraudulent credit cards are being used right. like it is one yeah, of these... i mean that's why we lost the gifting badge in the first place exactly because exactly. of the, the fraudulent transactions that's why it's only around for two weeks a year yeah and that's that's why people need to take this very seriously you know when i was speaking to when i did the gifting event documentary uh which is surprising that's like <laughs> yes. one year one year old that's uh i i one of my favorite videos one of the I think I invested like 20 to 40 hours into that one. But it was interesting because uh, Ghost Dog, uh, shout out to Ghost Dog, another content creator, uh, he works for a bank and he has to deal with the people that have been negatively affected by uh, credit card fraud and, and transactions. And it's just like, it's it's really sad then to learn that the other side of things are going like, oh, it's okay because somebody can, you know, steal a load of um, credit card numbers and ring up... Um, uh, oh, I've just rung up all this money and stuff. And th the thing is, there was the other side of things. What I think was something to do with the Facebook group, which I I don't deal with too much. The Facebook community side of things, but um, it used to be somebody took over. I think it was the community page and was selling units, but they were f they were kind of like codes for gift cards, which were bought with. Uh, via credit card fraud and it's mm -hmm. like sometimes if you go down any of these roads and and pass and y you may not as a player go oh no, no it's fine i bought a a legal gift card unless you've gone to the supermarket or you've gone to a place of trust like amazon or anywhere else or even direct you don't know what what you're buying you could be buying something that is going to not not only number one negatively affect your account with a point of negative units but number two get you banned and put you on some sort of a red list for situations like this yeah. so and uh you know if there's more money on the gift card than what you paid yeah. for it red flag yeah exactly <laughs> you know um it's yeah i mean there, there's all sorts of of stuff uh you know they, there's always drama with the gifting event there's i think it, i think it's unavoidable uh it's we get we get in this vicious cycle with the the whole thing where everyone gets hyped and then we know there's going to be some drama like last year wasn't it the 
like the alt accounts that were oh, in yeah. the rank rewards and you know there there was all these questions about those and, and kabam actually had to like make a statement that like yeah. the, the alt accounts were legitimate because people were gifting to themselves via their alt accounts yeah so you, you never know like that was that was the 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 new iteration last year i'm sure people had done that mm. before but the, with it being the, the rank rewards being the way it was it was like wait why are these like low level accounts top 30 or whatever in, in the gifting so who knows what it will be this year yeah I, this is this is the thing the situation is like there's there's people i'm not going to out people but there have there were people like there was that level 10 uh six star spider gwen account that that popped up and like no one could right. like verify whether or not it was like legit someone who just started the game and you kind of imagine you know little kids just picked up the game for the first time and going like oh wow i got a six star champion this is amazing uh yeah. and like the advantage that gives but more than likely, it was a case this was somebody's alt account, which got lucky with a great gifting crystal to give them six star shards uh, and, and, you know, a six star uh, champion. Uh, hence. So it's it's one of these because uh, one of the again, I'm not going to name alliances, but uh, I think a lot of us know that the situation of uh, last year or 2019 or whenever it was where there was one particular alliance that were taking people out of the alliance, one person out of the alliance. That was a slot that was rotating around putting alt accounts in to then gift within the alliance to inflate the points and right. um you know it's just in these situations that yeah, which, which is why we have the the 14 day rule now yeah that, and, that was a reaction to that event a, a couple years ago yeah absolutely and you know and i've got i've got fr i have friends that within in the alliance that, like affected and it was like I just kind of thought, is this is this where we're going with 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 the game? That then we've got now people spying on other people, and I thought, oh, this is just this is just sad. But then well, there's that's, the, yeah, that's yeah. the thing because those you know you you bring that up. The the reason you know for people who who don't have the context, the reason for that was because the the rewards for rank one were just so ridiculous. Yeah, right? like, like if. Like a mad, like it would be like probably the equivalent this year is of if there was like a uh, six star, three to four gem, mm. in if for like number one, yeah, right, like and and everyone wanted that, like that's that's sort of you know it's it's that level of reward, uh, where it's like oh like if we get this for all thirty of us we're all going up in prestige and we're gonna rule AQ for the next bit of time. Um, and and that's what prompted a lot of you yeah. know the, the spying shenanigans, right? Yeah. the The other side of things is like we go back in time to last year, and like M's doing the same thing she did last year, uh, this year, where she's a bit more proactive with a grind. Like it's been very difficult because she's been very busy with other stuff, and we're we're kind of like thinking about like next year and and like moving and things and like crafting and, and stuff that she's she's got on. So she's got quite a bit of stuff she's did it like got to get done personally before the end of the year but she's now kind of made more of an effort to to grind marvel contest of champions uh mm. because it goes back to what happened last year sorry i should get to get to the point she um <laughs> she we we did some trading with uh with great gifting crystals with one another and um and she picked up her, her first six star champion at level 30 and wow. it's yeah and it's like pfft, like She's probably gonna. I, I'd I'd hope and I assume for like you know for the excitement of making a video that M might get another six star champion this year, and that's what hopefully we're going to see at the end of it. But then that's the thing. She's only been logging in and doing auto fighting through uh, lower events. She doesn't have the time to do stuff that you know I do, you do, and and stuff yeah. like that. But it's just at least kind of like to do something to get units but then it's like saying like she is number one legitimately playing that account number two she's not running an alt account uh, and number three she will be participating in some element of gifting with her alliance that she's in at the moment uh shout out to super crazy fun times i think the name of the alliance is dj honky the alliance leader hello um <laughs> so uh so yeah like that's just kind of like where where she's at like she wants you know she's number one uh, not many other things like helping out alliance as well but kind of putting some points into uh gifting but that is just the thing isn't it like it's there's the negative side the people that are not the pure people playing it right and then there's the other side of things like man gifting yeah i mean a lot of it's fun like you know it, it's fun to to 
trade with people. It's it's fun to do these openings. Like obviously, like you know, with with the caveat of this being a you know a whale event. Like you know, do not spend money you don't have. This is just a game. Like this is one of those things where yeah, people spend a lot of money, but you can also grind out uh, a lot of units in preparation, which yeah. is you know something I'm doing, and and I know a lot of others are doing. I'm really excited. Mm. uh about it i just I, you know i think it's gonna be fun i, yep. I want to see what's in the the crystals usually um you know the alliance rank rewards are uh, you know a pretty nice uh bonus in uh in january when those uh finally come out so um you know I, i'm i'm looking forward to seeing you know openings and yep. what people get and and hopefully they you know Hopefully they they put another uh, rare champion in the crystals this year. Spice I do have, it up, of course, Kang. I don't have uh, Thanos. What were you saying? I spice. Yes, it. You're right. Spice it up. Like um, spice it up. Yeah, because I, I can actually. I've got uh, Chronic last year did an infographic of what's what was in the crystals, and I just want to like throw that up, especially for people uh, watching the the kind of podcast on YouTube. But I'll read I'll read it out um, to uh, to everybody. Uh, so, you know, tier two alpha, 20% drop rate, uh, five star shards, 14% drop rate, four star signature stone, 12% drop rate, tier five basic fragment, 11% drop rate. And this thing is that th there could be like volumes, like it was some like increments of like 10K a time, 5K a time with drop rates of things like shards. A six star shards, 9.5% drop rate. And like they were dropping like five in increments of 5K and I think 10K at times, yeah. if I remember rightly. And then there's other stuff as well. I think there was tier five class catalyst, but I could be wrong with the 2021, especially because it was quite a long time ago trying to remember what's gone down with that. And then things like five star nexuses and other stuff and uh, five star awakening gems, 2%. Uh, six star signature stones at three percent and then the uh respective champions at uh six star kang or thanos 0 0.06 percent and then it goes <laughs> so you ain't getting them anytime soon no you're you're not uh don't get your hopes up if it happens it happens but yeah uh, do not uh you you can you can uh, mathematically, it, it it is very hard to buy your way to a six star Thanos. Oh God, yeah. <laughs> so do not uh, do not try. Uh, but yeah, I am. I'm you know I'm loaded up um, uh, on units. I've I've got about eleven thousand units on my main account nice. because um, I did not go crazy this uh, Cyber Weekend with the unit deals, which usually I I spend you know the the fifteen eighteen k, mm. and um, you know this one I. I I spent 4,000 units. I, I picked up a, a couple of the, um, you know, the the resource packages that, that I did like, that I, mm. I thought had a lot of value. Um, but, you know, they, they did something very different this year with sort of the build-your-own package, which I like. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, you know, I, as always with these sales, um, you know, there, there's a lot of back and forth whether, you know, one person thinks these are the worst sales ever. One person thinks they're the best sales ever. It, it really depends on, on, on what you need. Um, mm. You know, I only spent twenty bucks. I, I didn't, I didn't go crazy uh, with the the real money either. Um, you know, it's interesting for it for as hyped as we get about Cyber Weekend and July Fourth. I actually thought Deadpool's spring cleaning was the best sale of the year. Oh, it was. That one was the most fun for me. Yeah, and I spent the most. It's it, that's the thing is that you seem to. I, I think everything prior to, well, no, it was it was like on on the Deadpool stuff. It is it's surprising that I didn't spend as much as I thought I was going to, and I kind of regret the fact that I didn't spend more on the uh, the unit deals, uh, especially leading into like Cyber, not Cyber Weekend, the the gifting event, because I kind of think, well, yeah. if I spent a hundred pounds, uh, then I would get back uh, the what I basically get, what I'd be buying maybe once or twice, and not getting anything extra when it comes to December. But then I kind of think like, oh yeah, that's that's the other reason I didn't decide to buy anything because a week uh, on the week leading up to it, whilst I was doing a live stream of my uh, poor, the, poor the boy, I got a call <laughs> I got a call from my accountant. It just said, yeah, um, you're, we've done your taxes. You got a, in January 31st, you've got a tax bill coming out. And I was like, and it's like, and it's going to be this. I went, oh, right, I guess I'm not spending anything this Christmas. Yeah, then. it's, it's tough, to, tough to press the buy button. 
Yeah. <laughs> on the digital items after you just talk to your accountant. Yeah, and then um, I got um, and a bunch of people say, oh, well, if you do your tax deductible, you might be able to kind of like bring that down. It's like no, because last year that I kind of not to go too much into like my circumstance, but last year, if you don't know, YouTube decided to kind of uh, uh, we accuse me of something which has not been accused of ever and seems to be fine so they basically said that oh you've got invalid traffic to your channel and accused thousands of other youtubers of the same thing and as a result deducted uh monies for two months which left me in a very kind of shaky position uh any case uh long story short is basically i tightened my belt because i was worried about what would happen so i didn't get any i didn't buy any new tech i didn't do any I didn't mm. upgrade and stuff like that which you just the thing is you don't know you you don't know with it because it's all you know scary. So I for my birthday asked for iTunes cards and got myself one of the deals, but then kind of going like oh right okay I just got to be safe and I think we all know yeah you got to got to be better to be safe than sorry with these things. Uh, but yeah, deals wise, um, I spent four thousand units and I kind of thought do I want to go in deep? I want to go deeper and I thought. No, I've got I've still got six thousand eight hundred and eighty one, and I plan a uh, a big push to get that up to ten k by, or the equivalent to ten k. I'll probably buy a load of like greater gifting crystals when it when it goes live. But yeah, I'm gonna any units I grab now will be grinded out for arena for doing content and reinvested into my gifting event uh, grind. So, like you, I'm yeah. ready. I'm having a good time. Feel feeling the same way, Rich, and and uh, you know looking forward to uh to doing that and and hopefully it will be uh a fun event for everyone mm -hmm, with mm -hmm. no shenanigans uh just uh a plea to the community please stay out of global chat yes uh please please uh do not accept random dms from people online and discord and all those things uh, but for the love of all that is holy, do not trade with people in global chat. Yes. Also, disable global chat. You can do that in your yes, settings. Dis disable global chat, yes. How, how long have you not had global chat on? Oh, it's been years. Yeah. <laughs> See? That's the thing. It's like, see no evil, nothing, hear nothing no evil. Comes from, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's like, what's your, you know, your mom says nothing good happens after midnight. Uh, Dan and Rich say nothing good happens in global chat yeah i think it goes back to that star wars thing in it it's like uh yeah look look over there uh, you'll never find a place with, full of more scum and villainy it, yes, it, it's, yes it's 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 kind of like a that wretched hive of it's, scum and that's villainy. it wretched hive of scum for, and villainy. for sure for sure <laughs> yes that is that is global chat and every year we hear the stories right like every single year so like please don't do it people we know it's fun but like do a little work and like mm -hmm. you know ask your friends alliance mates like yeah people that aren't gonna screw you over like it's it's sad when it happens so but you gotta you gotta be careful because there are like the people that want to scam are are looking you know they're out there looking for you and they're always gonna ask you to send first yeah so <laughs> you know it's uh it's definitely a, a problem yeah but, uh, yeah i mean uh you know uh, we'll see we'll we certainly um, we're gonna be talking about gifting all month and and we we don't know about the rewards yet and the in the crystal content so we're gonna have more to talk about oh, but uh God, you know yeah. overall uh december a very busy month we've mm -hmm. got what looks like some spider-man no way home teaser tie-ins which is yeah. fun um we have our holiday calendar we have a a holiday gift which they're being very specific about this yeah year. it's a gift <laughs> card like that, hey, yeah your holiday gift card which you have 48 hours to redeem so don't mess that up yeah uh, you get the gift card and you have to spend the gift card like immediately so make sure you do that um but yeah because i think they probably got tired of all the forum posts are we getting a christmas present <laughs> <laughs> so they're doing this gift card thing this year yeah that's yeah. I'm just trying to figure out like my time of like how I'm going to cover stuff because I'm going. Uh, I think it's I, I I don't know where I'm going to be. I'm thinking like, am I going to be yeah. recording a video? Like I do want to like cover this on Christmas Christmas Day. Like I've got like a we we may me and you may do a Christmas podcast. I'm probably gonna that would be fun. I'm probably gonna ping you a uh, a message about it because like we did our and this is we got a <laughs> I think it's a good kind of thing. We, last year we talked about a side event tier list and i i don't i don't know if i have it in my heart 
to talk about. <laughs> I got I to be honest with you. I was thinking about the same thing. So I was like, oh, yeah, like we, we got to think about our like year in review. And I was like, oh, like I don't I don't know if I have it in me to dissect 12 side quests from 2021, dude. Yeah, especially when you kind of like go, I can't put anything up in like S tier and top tiers. It's going to be like um, I mean, Cosmic, Cosmic Horror. Cosmic Horror was, yeah. was good. If, if you went into October with your September objectives complete, yes. Cosmic Horror had a really fun payoff. Yes. So like, let's l pretend that was that was it. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> Cosmic Horror, yay. Cos Cosmic Horror, the Summon Symbiote, Little Stevie brought the fun. That's a what? So that's our one minute podcast done on yeah. side event tier list. Year, year in review. <laughs> yeah, Cosmic Horror was good, wasn't it? If yeah. you, if you, no, but if, that that would be uh, that would be good, Rich. And I, actually, I, I've got a bunch of days off leading up to Christmas, so I have extra availability. Sweet, uh, which is going to be fun. Uh, so we can definitely do some stuff. Maybe we'll do do something live. Uh, yeah, we'll see. I like that. We'll see how it works out, but yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to that. Um, we got the uh, we got the seven day arenas. Yeah, uh, for good. the extra shards, I'm gonna be hitting those. I love those. Uh, they haven't said anything yet, but I do hope they're bringing back those like year crystal arenas. People oh, love those. I miss. I'm glad you said about that. I miss those arenas as well. I didn't. Do, I think they didn't do them last year or I something. I don't think they did. I don't. I don't remember that in my. Uh, I'll have to look at my arena tracker from way back. But I don't think they did, and I no, think I'm... people were were uh, upset about that. Yeah, I. I think that with with this, Kabam need to do in 2022. That rhym that rhymes, by the way. They need to do in 2022 is is just a little bit more like listening to what works. Like if it's if it works for players and gives them that serotonin that positivity and it's like yes. when you when you do when command mess up and they they take an l it's like well okay like this this month start off with uh oh, what went wrong this month it's like well uh aq was AQ, bugged A and w. then uh obviously canceled the war season the first war after this past yeah patch uh war was bugged but yeah i mean it's oh it's cavalier difficulty which we'll talk about in a minute it's like yeah, yeah there's there's three l's there now those three l's get wiped out with a good anniversary gifting event and the the the, the, the gift so it's like right. okay there's three l's with three w's it's like okay well but then it's like there's other months where it's like l l l w l l l and it's like right okay you need to start. You need to start kind of bringing your, your your positive, back in your morale boost into the game to then balance out the the bad. Yeah, I mean it. And and you know we've talked about this before, but the L's always hurt worse yes. than the wins help. Yes, so that like is you true. Need, you know, you, you need like a you need a five to one ratio or something like that to to keep people in a good mood. And, and it hasn't been, you know, unfortunately, it hasn't been anywhere uh, close. Like I was super worried when we found out that they weren't bringing back the gold boost. Oh, yeah. Because I, when I heard that, I was like, they're like, oh, we've got something else planned. And I'm just like, uh, good luck with that. Like, yeah. I hope it's really good. And, it, you know, a permanent goal boost, obviously, is is very good and I think solves some problems. Um, you know, I think a lot of their their uh, their issues around gold, whereas, like, you know, they're like, we're increasing the amount of gold that we're giving you guys, but we don't open the crystals because we hoard them. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think that was detrimental. So I think I think this permanent goal boost is better. But it was like, I was just like, guys, are are you seriously gonna like take away this goal boost? Because like people are counting on this thing. Like, yeah. you do not need to take this out. <laughs> yeah, and then it's and it's, but then there's like this the battle chip boost uh, and will that boost people people like that battle chip boost, um, you know, because that that's a, a little extra gold and, mm. and more chances for unit drops. So yeah, uh, people like that as well, and and it's a nice tie-in, especially if you're going to be running it while you've got all these extra arenas. Like let's let's pile on the wins. Yeah, uh, yeah, I, yeah I I wish they do something there. Like I just I feel yeah. like it's so easy. Mm. Like it's not gonna it it. It's, we know it works. We know people like it. It's it's nothing. You know, it, it's nothing. We have to like jump through any hoops for mm -hmm. yeah absolutely uh let's let's talk about cavalier difficulty 
Yes. <laughs> yes. So much conversation about Cavalier difficulty. I, I haven't jumped in. I've read a lot. I, I know you spent like the better part of uh, yesterday working on your guide. I saw a big spreadsheet from the old Sarge. I've mm. seen a lot of Twitter opinions, Rich. Where, where did you end up landing on this? Uh, I think it's a good idea. It's one of these things with Kabam. It's always good idea, poorly executed. Ugh. The the way that I feel they could have done this better is have if 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 they wanted to go down this route, they should have just stuck the entirety of Cavalier difficulty between hashtag villain and hashtag hero, and then have changes that were the, the changes that would then be beneficial to those those champions. Like going okay, right, well, hashtag hero in the Cavalier in in say like okay, so you go into one point one. And I'm just trying to get my notes up, just kind of like uh, cover this at the same time. So you're going to like say, okay, so say you go into 1.1, and it's the uh, sidestep strike, which is knock down the defender uh, and gain a charge to evade unblockable attacks. But instead of it being hashtag Spider Verse Heroes Symbiotes and Sinister Six, it's hashtag Heroes, just flat hashtag Heroes. Right. Then one point, say 1.2 is hashtag Villains. Then it's hashtag heroes and then hashtag villains. This allows scope of roster, which is one of the big things. Is like, okay, well, that covers a lot of them. Or it's a case they, again, spread it across where you've got a large volume or players largely have a large volume of champions. But to be brutally honest, I kind of feel like, why why, why, why do this? Because what you've done is you've alienated out those that have just become cavalier and at the same time, those that ha don't have an extensive roster. Again, goes back to that thing that we always say about uh, roster roster sideways, roster depth, rather than... Ro yeah, roster... Yeah, width, yeah. Width, that's it, yeah, sorry. Because yeah. um, they got depth, they just don't have width. And, right. well, the thing is, they may not have the depth, the depth that kind of, like, higher right. rank. Yeah, and, yeah and... I mean, it kind of looks like uh, some of the Variant 8 philosophy brought to a monthly quest. yeah. And I don't like that because what it does, what for me and my experience of playing it is, some quests are okay. It's just others are very finickety. The way that it's just again really kind of like it's specific uh, with that word. Do you have that word finickety in the U US? Finicky, yeah. Fini finicky. I don't know why I call it finickety. Uh, yeah, finicky, finicky. So basically, yeah, you with, say finicky. I, I yeah. finicky, finicky. Yeah. Aluminum, aluminium. It's, yeah. You know, it's it, all it, good. <laughs> Uh, so like the thing with it in particular, the one I was doing last night, which just got me so annoyed, was the the enemy champion getting an evade, uh, no, getting um uh getting a unblockable. Because the problem is with the enemy getting an unblockable is if they have a special attack, they'll throw an unblockable special attack. Right. And yes, you might evade it, but at the same time, it's wasted on building up the um uh the the stun because you can't you can't stun whilst the enemy is throwing a special attack. So I I just I don't get I really don't get that. Even worse, when the champion gets that unblockable and the enemy AI is very defensive, it's not moving, and you're there just standing there like, just, okay, you, you've got to hit me whilst I've got this evade charge. Otherwise, um, you know, nothing's going to happen. I'm not going to get that stun, and that's not going to be beneficial for, for, for me or my speed of momentum. And if you take the speed of momentum away from this, the, these hashtags, then uh, of the, you take speed of momentum away from doing Cavalier difficulty, then it's not like paced it's not quick whereas i think it was like september time september october time uh doing cavalier difficulty me with and even prior to that doing it for me for me was like i could get this done in a week and mm. i'd be quite happy because then i can then refocus my attention in other areas of the game on grind but for the last two to three months i've just been so uninterested with the way that they have put certain champions on and slowed down the speed of momentum of of getting it done which i kind of felt is very contradictory to the way that cavalier difficulties changes were meant to be built but that's just like my personal thoughts there have you uh what, what are your kind of like th thoughts on the previous calves and this one yeah i mean i liked some of those those nodes I, I you know boosting up i mean i i had a lot of fun uh you know i i haven't done as many of them recently but mm. uh you know i think I think the most interesting conversation is about like who this is tuned to. Cause the, you know, um, I, I saw karate Mike, you know, he posted, you know, some info that, you know, he really liked, mm. um, you know, 
some of the uh, you know some of the nodes and and what was happening with the design. It was really fun for him, and you know, but he's a you know a top level player with a very deep roster. Mm. So it's kind of like, well, who's this tuned for? Is this tuned? to keep the top guys from being bored or is it really supposed to be for cavaliers mm. and you know i think that we need to get into uh you know and hear from the devs or is it you know more like completions really tuned for calves and 100 percent tuned for throne breakers and they're kind of trying to like you know split it in half in a way because they don't want to add a throne breaker difficulty so uh, you know i'd like to hear a little bit more there because you know when you start getting into some of this uh roster depth stuff that that's really hard for you know the the new cavalier players especially when you're talking about a monthly mm. quest like it's yeah. one thing where it's like oh okay like i'm gonna rank up gwenpool and uh taskmaster and hit monkey over the course of the next three months and then i'm gonna be able to uh tackle variant date right yeah because that's not going anywhere but this is this is going somewhere in five weeks mm. that's 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 it goes back to what i was saying about speed and speed and momentum your speed yep. in which you, you're doing this and the momentum in which you're kind of like getting it done at uh, and that's that i unfortunately it comes at a month where i've got a personal challenge because i've got everything's time sensitive like i need to 100 percent cavalier difficulty within uh what is it seven days so i'm kind of like working towards that that goal and target and then as soon as i've done with that i do two days of work on new account stuff i then do coverage and then a grind of arena and then go back to variant eight to 100 percent it then it's a case by the end of the month do more arena grinding then back into uh act seven um grinding so it's like i've i've got a process and if i i do feel slowed down by this but at this time I, I can't be bothered with Kabam's shenanigans, number one. Yep. But number two, they they're not gonna change yet. And that's the thing I've gotta I've gotta unfortunately go, yeah, fine. Do I wanna miss it? No, because I need the shards for a um for a Christmas Day opening. So it's like I've got I've got my intentions. I'm an, I'm annoyed at Kabam at the way that they've kind of like put this together. But at the same time I'm willing to overlook it. There are some good quests which I enjoyed and I'm just gonna like figure out which ones those those are i think it's the one with the avengers um mm. the avengers one is is okay the end boss That's, is uh, quake 2.2 yeah 2.2 i like 2.2 um I, i'm okay i think with the dimensional beings illuminati and thanos army i think that's 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 okay as well so there are some things i like but there's things that i don't like i think it's the spider verse heroes one that just ruins my experience of it but i'll probably leave that to last i think the 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 one that's the last one the 3.2 is okay it's just the the boss i'm kind of like i'm just figuring out what the best kind of route for this is whether or not i bring white magneto to just like assist me in everything uh, there's just so many variables to consider with it so there's some good, yeah. there's some bad, um, but it is what it is at the end of the day. With yeah, that. I mean, I'm interested to see if you know this is one of those where it's it's the immediate fury reaction, and then people kind of figure out counters and come around on it, or if this is is really something people don't like and they want uh, a different direction. Yeah, um, I've seen a lot of people talk about oh, it's oh, everything, everything's unblockable, and I I, I get it. It's kind of it's one of these months where. You're like right, so you've got a like a Luke a Luke Cage, and you're trying to think think of like okay, so it goes unblockable when it gets an armor buff. Do I yep. bring in an armor break champion? But then I've got to deal with that unstoppable because I've got to keep distance. That means I can't have speed and momentum. And actually, the big takeaway for me is like the speed and momentum is lacked because you either keep your distance with the Luke Cage, for example, and kind of wait until that unstoppable is. Um, uh, has kind of gone to you uh, or is it a case you bring in a slow debuff champion and try and rotate around quickly with that or do you bring an armor break in order to stop armor coming on to be unblockable again these are the kind of things that you you're going to have to go fine but then it's like the crossfight stuff you gain those fury passives up to the boss so you're like okay does this benefit going and taking on the boss so the incorrect counter against mm. the again get uh, the incorrect counter that's beneficial for the paths uh, versus taking in champions that be better boss counters, but don't get any kind of crossfight bonuses. Again, this is the the, the kind of the methodology where we go. Mm, Kaban may have not done the best thing with this, but yeah, 
it is what it is. Yeah, we will we will see. Well, we've got we got just a few more minutes left, uh, and I do want to talk about the new Disney Plus show Hawkeye. Yeah, because uh, the the first three episodes are out. I haven't seen episode three yet. Mm-hmm. Uh, I have watched the first two. Uh, I will say, Rich, right off the bat, I have never identified more with a superhero yeah. than I do with with Clint Barton in this series. Just a tired dad, yeah, who wants to go home, who wants to <laughs> who wants to celebrate Christmas quietly with his kids. Yeah, I mean, when he when he turned off the hearing aid in Rogers the musical. Yeah. Like that is that is something my dad does at Thanksgiving. <laughs> like that is the that is the ultimate dad move. Yeah. Right there. It's just like, yep, just gonna just gonna sit here in silence and that's that's all I want. Just silence. Yeah. And like just like I Clint, I feel you man. I <laughs> I I your your energy like oh my God. Um it's so I would just say right about that. And it says something about me that like uh, you know, it, it's like, I feel like everyone should have a superhero that they identify with. It says something mm. that it's like 40 year old dad superhero is where I'm at right now. <laughs> yeah, it, it's, it's a good show. It's got a great, great start off for it. Yeah. Um, I, I gotta be honest. I, I can't stand the Kate Bishop character. Uh, and I, really? uh, yeah, I, I think that's just because of the way that it's been written to be, uh, she's too overconfident and as the series progresses on she'll be more like grounded and she'll learn mm-hmm. and she'll listen because I guess that's that's the parallel here there's somebody that doesn't listen and there's somebody that can't hear yeah. and that's a beautiful parallel if that's how I've taken it so I've tried to be quite reserved on it because I feel mm-hmm. that's how that's going to go by the end of it Hawkeye Clint Barton um finds it difficult to listen to people uh, finds it difficult to hear people whereas kate bishop's character finds it difficult to listen to people and right. act, and act on, on on stuff i hope that's the case but at the moment i, I just cannot stand it. uh even like episode three i still can't stand her it's only in the last few moments i kind of feel like i know maybe going into episode four I'll probably start feeling that's the case and I'll start warming to the character, but I just find her just too... The overconfident, the kind of... Like, the two, like, I'm just like, why don't you listen? Why don't you... Why, you need to stop listening. You need to start listening to people. Um, yeah. But again, as I said, I think that's going to play into well, how the show... A, she's a kid. It takes a, it takes a while to learn. We'll see. Uh, we will see. But yeah, I mean, clearly, like, you know, it's they're setting her up with the, like, all skills, no experience. Yeah, exactly. And you know, Hawkeye is obviously the the uh, you know the you know he's obviously he's got all the skills, but all the experience too. Mm. Um, and it's you know setting up the you know passing of the torch or whatever. Because in the, in the comics, you know, yeah, Kate's pretty brash, but you know she can she can back it up too. Yeah. So it's it's going to be interesting to see where they where they get there. I did I did love that opening scene that kind of like sets up the inspiration. Yeah, for for her becoming an archer and seeing the Battle of New York from her view, that was clever. Point, like that was that was well done. Um, I really uh, I did enjoy that. Um, I I'm hoping and, and maybe they do this more in episode three. Um, like, how did Clint lose the Ronin suit? I'm really curious about why he doesn't have his gear. Uh, like, you you. Was, Still don't really kind of like learn okay. much about that. Right. I, I'm not gonna like go too much in de- detail. But no, no. All right. Action wise, episode three. Oh, love it. Like it's it's just a case of like there was a moment where I was just watching it and I was just I'm not gonna reveal anything. Yeah. I'm just gonna say like I I just said that was sick. Like, and, yeah. and I'm not I'm not gonna like again say say anything more. But it's like this is this is this is why I'm more interested in seeing Clint Barton's like future from stuff and i think that was good like the way he kind of reacted to like you know there was the, the black widow stuff and how that emotion had got to him and just like you know i can't do this he's still a tortured soul from his days of right of ronin and and what what happened with that and you know what happened on voromir so there's 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 that's good that that's... there's a there's a lot of weight on clint coming yeah. into this which is you know it's for a character that's been through a lot of crap he's never had a lot of screen time to process that yeah exactly so you know it's good that that they're giving jeremy renner 
the space to do that with the character. And, you know, you know, I think much like with like, um, you know, uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier, when you give some of these more grounded, you know, characters um, that we can identify with a little bit more because they're not shooting, you know, laser beams out of their eyes. Exactly. Like, they can do some really heavy emotional stuff with it because, you know, it's it, much like with, with uh, you know, uh, Captain America in the Winter Soldier, you know, like probably, you know, 20 minutes into Hawkeye. And I was like, oh, yeah, like, I really care about this guy. Yeah. You know, like, there's a lot of history there. And I want I want him to do well. And it's like, it's like, you know, I'm just like I said, you know, it was like, uh, you know, my inner dad was like, he just wants to spend Christmas with his family. Can you people uh, stop bothering him? <laughs> Leave me alone. Like, you know, and, and of course, like, you know, the daughter is w- wicked smart and, uh, you know, picks up on everything mm. and, and knows that there's stuff going on. And, you know, it's uh, it's, uh, you know, it, it's just it's interesting to see kind of them interact in the real world. Like, yeah. you know, like clint goes out to dinner right and he's just like yeah like you saved our city like you're not paying for this meal of course the bank won't give falcon a loan which i don't you know we can that's another Wait, discussion like uh, we know we know why that uh, happened but you yeah. know it's just it's sort of the dichotomy like thinking of like those two like real life issues was kind of was very striking right yeah like if you if you think about them in like in the context of, of the universe and how they're being treated differently mm. because of their status so. exactly exactly yeah and i think you know, as soon as he um, becomes as soon as like you know falcon becomes like the, the new captain america um hopefully sam wilson then you know sees that level of respect and it's all about uh yeah. elevation i think it just definitely comes into a, a new a new era for for marvel studios where they bring in things like you know we've we got the she hulk series we've got uh the, well the kamala khan one the miss marvel yeah. kamala khan one uh we've just had shang chi uh, come out eternals had a, a very you know a, a better represented cast and we go into into that as so a hopefully uh we, we kind of like see something for the future that's kind of like it's good and we see better representation but um right the, even dog representation as well even do- yeah pizza dog pizza dog love it pizza dog pizza dog gonna be the breakout star of of the hockey show yeah i think i think they had a poster for him but then then marvel was like we people are going about pizza dog so they were like we, we'll do a we'll do a poster for pizza dog so it's um oh yeah i mean they i they had to be ready for that like oh, yeah. telling me they didn't know like people were gonna people always gravitate to the dog <laughs> it's a god everyone loves trailer. dogs it's you been about yeah it's, it's duck. so yeah so it, i'm looking forward to uh looking forward to more hockey only six episodes not mm. a lot you gotta yeah. see what's up with tracksuit mafia what's up with uh uh kate's evil future stepdad yeah um uh, you know what's up with the ronin suit yeah a lot of questions rich a lot of mm. questions. absolutely absolutely right i think that's um that's a good point to end what are you what are you up to next week dan uh next week um uh, i think gonna work on some some variant eight until these uh shard arenas go live yeah uh which is actually uh gonna be next friday so yeah looking looking forward to that and you know by that time we're gonna be really getting into the the anniversary stuff and gifting and the holiday calendars will be right around the corner so looking forward to a uh, a quality month yeah uh and for, for me it's a case of like just get cavalier done 100 percent. i've got a few kind of things uh projects i want to complete i've at the weekend so i probably just posted this uh little steve in testing out and other content post uh post sort of kind I, of click i've wings. heard he's useful in cavalier eq this month yeah there's the hashtag symbiote stuff um yeah. oh, i might have to change the video uh, a little bit on that one i might have to make a, like, a little bit of a, a note on it but um, i might make a separate video on that one um yeah i'm gonna have to do that. that's a good reminder uh and then a few other things as well i've got to get done but uh yeah so uh, should be all fun thanks everybody for coming by and listening and um we'll see you next time for the next podcast bye bye everybody <laughs>